Ngayon ay magsasagot naman tayo ng mga quadratic functions na kung saan gagamit tayo ng iba't ibang method para makuha natin, natin yung mga solutions o yung value ng x. So, let's start with problem number 1. So, so number 1, meron tayong x squared plus 6 equal to 6. Now, to solve for x, we'll subtract 6 on both sides. And we'll have x squared equal to 0. So, pag kinuha natin yung square root niya, x will simply be 0. So, yung solution set ng problem number 1 would be 0. Now, ito rin yung parehas na um, procedure or technique na gagamitin natin para sa x squared plus 4 equal to 40. So, dito, magsasubtract tayo ng 4 on both sides. And we'll have x squared is equal to 36. And by taking the square root of both sides, make sure to uh, put the plus or minus symbol. Meron din tayong plus or minus symbol sa 0. Pero since 0 is neither positive nor negative, hindi na natin siya in -add. So x would equal to plus or minus 6. So dalawa yung solutions ng problem number 2. Isa ay 6 at isa ay negative 6. At dun sa problem number 3, We have 25 x squared equal to 1. So by subtracting both sides by 25, we'll have x squared is equal to 1 over 25. And kunin natin square root ng both sides. So, plus or minus siya. So, we have x is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 at saka square root of 25. Now, parehas siyang perfect square. So, ang 1 ay square root of 1 is 1 at square root of 25 is 5. So, x is equal to plus or minus 1 all over 5. So, yan yung dalawang solutions natin sa problem number um, 3. Now, this is problem number 4. We have 9x squared minus 3 equals negative 152. Now, sa problem na to, um, add tayo ng 3 on both sides. Maka-cancel to. So, we'll have 9x squared equals negative 152 plus 3 is 149. And then we'll divide both sides by 9. So yung x squared natin ay equal to, as natin, is negative 149 all over 9. So taking the square root of both sides, so c squared of 149 is square root of negative 149. At C9 naman ay square root of 9. So, mapapansin nyo na yung denominator natin ay perfect square. So, pwede natin siyang simplify as 3. Pero yung square root of negative 149, hindi siya perfect square. So, ang gagawin na lang natin is ilabas yung negative i or yung negative 1. Kasi square root of negative 149 does not exist. So, siya ay magiging i square root of 149 plus or minus kasi every time you take the um the square root of both sides we have a plus or minus symbol so yung dalawang solutions natin would be i square root of 149 all over 3 at yung isa is negative i square root of 149 all over 3 so ito yung solutions natin sa problem number 4 at dito naman sa problem number 5 Parehas din lang yung procedure niya. So, meron tayong na, um, 9x squared minus 5 equals negative 607. So, add tayo ng 5 on both sides. And we'll have 9x squared is equal to negative 607 plus 5 is 602. And we'll divide both sides by 9. So, we'll end up with x squared equals negative 602 all over 9. And then, we're going to take the square root of both sides, which this 
happens to be plus or minus square root of negative 602 over 9. At alam natin na yung negative 602 ay magiging imaginary number at c squared of 9 ay magiging 3. So yung answer natin will be plus or minus i squared of 602 all over 3. Again, yung 602 ay hindi na natin mapafactor kaya ito na yung solutions natin para sa number 5. At dun sa problem number 7 naman, So, sa 7, meron tayong x plus 1 squared equal to 3. And to solve for this, we need to get rid of the exponent 2. So, we'll take the square root of both sides. So, we'll have x plus 1 equals plus or minus square root of 3. Kasi pwede natin na-cancel yung inverses ng, is, ng bawat isa. And then, from here, Maga subtract tayo ng 1. So, we'll have x equal to, since yung negative 1 hindi natin pwedeng i-add kay square root of 3, pwede lang natin siyang i-rewrite as negative 1 plus or minus square root of 3. So, yung dalawang solutions natin for problem number 7 would be the two solutions. x equals negative 1 plus square root of 3 at x equals negative 1 minus square root of 3. So, la, mapapansin nyo na laging dalawa yung solution set natin sa quadratic equations kasi ang maximum number of solutions ng quadratic equations ay dalawa. So, sa problem number 8 naman, um, x plus 1, or number 6, na skip ko si number 6. Pero si 6, pares lang siya ng procedure. So, we have x minus 3 squared equal to 2. So, uh, we'll take the square root of both sides. So, we'll end up with x minus 3 equal to plus or minus square root of 2. Add 3 on both sides. And we'll have x equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 2. At sa algebra, pwede na nating e1 yung sagot natin as x equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 2 kasi um, understood na siya na dalawa yung solution set natin sa problem number 6. At yung problem number 8 naman, kung sasagutan natin yung number 8, madali na lang yung number 8 kasi yung number 8 ay factorable quadratic equation. So sa 8, meron tayong x squared minus 5x minus 14. So, uh, using the big X method, negative 14 at saka negative 5. Since negative yung product natin, isa ay positive, isa ay negative. At ang factors ng negative 14 na mag add sa negative 5 would be uh, 7 and 2. At uh, since negative 5 to, so yung mas malaking factor will be negative. At yung mas maliit is positive. Kaya, 2 minus 7 is negative 5. So, yung... Factors niya would be x plus 2 and x minus 7. And using the zero product property, meron tayong x plus 2 equals 0 at x minus 7 equal to 0. Kaya yung solution set natin would be minus 2, x equals negative 2. At yung sa kabila, x equal to 7. So, dalawa pa rin yung solution set natin para dun sa problem number 8. At ganitong magsagot or mag-solve ng mga solutions ng ilang, ilan sa mga quadratic functions. At kung may natutunan kayo sa video na ito, please uh, like, share, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.